How to launch your product in two to three months? How to scale beyond your first product? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you all that. So look, if this is your first time, welcome, consider subscribing, also smash the thumbs up button. The few things that I want to cover in this video is, number one, how much money do you need to invest into starting an Amazon business? and what the breakdown of that money is going to go to. Number two, what is the expectation? You know, what should, be, what should you be expecting as far as how much time do you need to put in, as far as, you know, um, how much return on investment you should be expecting. And then number three, it's going to be the potential of how much that business can scale, but most importantly, when is it the right time to launch your second product, launch your third product, and how to do it systematically and also profitably. So the very first thing is the money, you know, how much money should you be investing in your first Amazon business? And also how is that money going to be delegated to? So there is something called a budget, right? And what a budget is, is simply setting together a number, um, an investment usually uh, for a project, right? Uh, for us, when we talk about a budget, I like to say, uh, I like to figure out not just the budget in total, but the product budget. And what a product budget is, is how much money you could actually invest in a product or how much money will you invest in a product. So for instance, if you have $3,000 to invest in a product, you need $3,500. And here's what I mean. So usually about $500 will go to things like listing, um, launch, um, tools, photos, etc. Right? So these are just some of the things that you're going to be responsible for when it comes to launching your product. Just because you have enough money to launch a product doesn't mean you should get started, right? You need at least another $500 on top of that. So if you only have $3,000 to launch a product, then that means your product budget is $3,000 minus $500 equals $2,500. So that means you only really have $2,500 to invest in a product, right? So now you're going to say, okay, well, how do I know what kind of a product do I invest in? You know, do I invest in a product that sells for $30 or do I invest in a product that sells for $10? Well, here's a quick tip. The higher the price of the product that you're going to sell, the easier it is for you to make it work. Write that down. I'm going to repeat it. The higher the price of the product you're going to sell, the easier it is for you to make it work. And what I mean by that is if you're going to sell a $30 product, is it is usually a lot easier for you to make it work than a $15 product simply because usually 25% goes to supplier. So, um, to like, you know, product cost. So cost of product, 25% goes to advertising. So like PPC or ads, 25% goes to Amazon and 25% is your profits, right? So here's, here's the thing about this. Um, if, you if you're gonna be selling a $15 product, right? Your profit is really only about $3.75. So this is $3.75 for you. If you're gonna be selling a $30 product, then your profit is $7.50. Right. So for you to say make two thousand dollars per month in net profits selling a thirty dollar product, it's a lot easier to get to than selling a fifteen dollar product, because in order for you to go from, you know, to go to, to two thousand for uh, with three dollars and seventy five cents is a lot harder than going to two thousand. It's simply half. Uh, uh, if you want to go to 2000 with $7 and 50 cents, that means you need to, you, you can sell less units for you to make it. And then the other thing is also trying to make your ads, your paid ads profitable with a product that, you know, uh, that only has about $3 and 75 cents, because 
25% of $3.75, I'm not really a genius at math, but it's about 85 cents, right? 85 cents to try to get a product profitable using ads is not very realistic. You, you probably need about two to three dollars to make it, you know, to make it profitable. So that's really important to understand. So now with that in mind, if let's say you want to sell a $30 item and you know that Bashar said that your cost, the product cost is 25%. So that means $7.50 is really how much your product is going to cost. So this is your product cost, right? So now what you do is you divide 2,500 into $7.50. I'm not good at math again, but that's going to be the amount of units that you can order, you can order to launch your product. So let's just assume, again, I'm not a genius at math, but let's just assume that number is about 300, 300 units. Let's just assume that number is 300 units. You can probably tell me how much that number is in the comments. But let's just assume that number is 300 units. Well, when you go to search a product, you need to make sure that the product that you're going to find, the average top 10 sellers are making about 300 units. Because if you're gonna find a, you know, the, the average top 10 sellers making about, let's say, they're doing five to 700 units, then this product is not gonna work simply because you can only afford to buy 300 units. But you're like, but Bashar, who cares? I'm gonna sell these 300 units. And then whenever I recoup my money, I can go and buy another 400 or 500, 600 units because now I'm gonna reinvest my profits back into business. And you're absolutely right. But see what's gonna happen is you're gonna run out. You're gonna invest all this money into ranking your listing and getting it showing in front of people. And then you're gonna run out. And then what's gonna happen is when you run out, wait for your money to get paid by Amazon, relaunch again, you're gonna have lost your ranking and now you have to start from ground zero, start spending on ads again, and then start spending all this money that you don't need to spend. So that's why it's very important for you to understand how much money you have in the, front, in the beginning, and then budget for your product and understand what kind of a product I can buy, how many units does it have to sell, just because a product makes $20,000 a month doesn't mean you should do it, when you only have two, three thousand dollars to invest is just not gonna work. So that's very important. This also ties up to the potential of when should I launch my second product? And maybe I'll go there and then I'll come back to time. You know, because this really ties up very well to when should I launch my second product? When should I start scaling, right? But before I go into that, again, if it's your first time, please subscribe to the channel. If you're returning or it is your first time, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also check out the link below this video if you want to learn from us directly one-on-one and see how BJK University could truly help you accelerate this learning curve and avoid making as, you know, as little mistakes as possible. Um, so potential, when do I launch my second product? When do I scale? Well, first of all, before you go launching another product, what you want to make sure of is you want to make sure that this is working for you, that you're able to have enough stock in Amazon. So say your average sales is 300 units per month, right? Say that's your average monthly sales, right? And say it takes about 30 days for you to replenish your inventory. So from the minute that you call your supply, well, you don't call your supply, you send a message. Uh, you tell your supply, hey, I need another 300 units. Let's say from the day that you tell them that's how much, you know, you need another 300 units to the minute that they, um, that your product is at Amazon and it's sellable. Just because it's, it's, it's an Amazon doesn't mean it's sellable because Amazon disperses your units to multiple wholesale uh, uh, warehouses. And it sometimes can take up to two weeks for you to start getting units that are uh, uh, available to fulfill orders. So say it takes 35 days, uh, say it takes 45 days, right? So say it takes 45 days from the minute that you place your order until the minute that the units are available for sale. This means that you need 450 units for available for this 45. So this means you need 450 units for this uh, 45 days because 300 units is only good for 30 days, right? So that's, that's kind of what that means, right? So now, not only do you need to have at least 300 units at Amazon available to fulfill orders for this month, but you also should have another 450 units available or on the way to Amazon so that they can fulfill the orders of the next 45 days when your next shipment is gonna be coming in, 
right? So that's very important for you to understand. When you have enough money to cover this, and then enough money to cover this, then you should be looking into launching a second product. Now you might say, Bashar, this sounds complicated as hell, man. I don't know if I even want to do this. Yeah, sure, it's complicated. No one said it was easy. Starting a business is not easy. The average business needs fifty to fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars to get started, and will go two years without a penny in profit. You can make this profitable in year one, and you need less than ten thousand dollars to really get this going, scaled, making several thousand dollars per month in net profits, right, within the first year. So again, if you're not willing to put in time and effort to figure this out, you know, which is gonna, which is what's gonna be covered in here, then you should just stick to the job, okay? So anyways, um, those of you that are still watching and that are willing to look at this stuff, um, then what you wanna do is you want to simply go into, um, when, when it comes time to like, all right, I've got this covered, everything's good, now I want the next thing. I want to launch more, I've got more money, you brought an investor, you took a, a loan out, you, you, whatever the case may be, right? Um, when it comes to launching a product, and this is again in potential still, you want to make sure that you are launching a product in the same niche. You see, Apple is looking into creating a car, right? Apple been in business for, I, I don't know, and, and I might sound crazy as hell, but I think they've been in business for anywhere between 30 to 50 years, I think in that realm, right? And just now they're starting to look into other industries. Up until now, they've been in that phone, electronic, laptop, computer, you know, industry, niche, right? They first launched the Macintosh computer and then they went into... Uh, I think what I want to say laptops, uh, well, desktops and then laptops, and then they went into the iPads and then the, I, the iPods and then the iPads, and then all the stuff that has to do, and then AirPods and all the stuff that has to do with that niche, right? And then they dominated that niche. So it's the same thing for you. It would be a lot easier for you to go from selling, um, you know, uh, 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 what are these called? Dry eraser, uh, highlighters, or whatever they're called to to pens and pencils and stuff like that than you, and then maybe even boards, you know, because it's kind of within the same niche, kind of, not really. Then going from this to selling like furniture and, 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 and office chairs and all that stuff, although you may say, well, that's kind of in the same niche, not really. Yes, they could be located in the same vicinity, but at the same time, it's still not the same thing. So that's the other thing they have to be thinking about is how do I stay within the same niche? Because by the time you figure this out, it's been some time, and you've probably seen other competitors come and go. You've probably been studying the niche, you've been studying the industry, you've been studying the category, and you have more information about that category than anything else. I could have, you know, I could have been teaching uh, at least half a dozen other, you know, uh, uh, industries or other, you know, programs or whatever. I decided to focus on Amazon because. The further I, you know, the more experienced I become in the topic, the more value I can add to my students and the better results I can get them. The same thing for you. The more you can keep, you know, staying in the same niche, the better value you can provide to your customer and the better result you can get them, which is providing them with the best uh, uh, possible. And there's always room to improve, even if you stay within, within the same product. And that's the other thing. To scale, you don't always need to launch another product. Because you see, you're doing all this in .com. Means Amazon.com, right? Amazon has 19 different marketplaces around the world. If you live in the USA and you sell and you sell in Amazon.com, if you live in the UK and sell on Amazon.com, if you live in Germany and sell on Amazon.com, you can take that same product and launch it in other marketplaces, in the German marketplace, in the Canadian marketplace, in the UK marketplace, in the UAE marketplace, in any other marketplace, it's the same exact product. All you'd be doing is making another phone call to your supplier, sending another message, and then getting a batch of units and then shipping it to those warehouses and that's it. If you're gonna sell in, the, in, in Europe, you need to make sure they have VAT, VAT, 
but that's a that's a video for a whole nother uh, uh, a whole nother uh, uh, topic a topic for another video, right? So, anyways, this is how you know the kind of money that you should expect to invest in. Now, this is doing good on your own. This is not you know uh, uh, hiring someone like BJK University to do it. This is not even allowing money for like room for you know failed products or test products or whatever. You know, three thousand dollars like bare minimum. If you and you should have you know someone to help you do this. Uh, you should have some extra money for like in case of a product fails or whatever the case may be or it needs a little bit more to launch. You should be looking at at least, you know, anywhere between four to six, even seven thousand dollars. Again, the average business requires fifty to a hundred fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars to launch where you could do this with less than ten thousand dollars. That's a steal. Right. And the potential sure. is uh, insane. Uh, and, and this, this is, uh, there's no cap on this. I mean, this could go, you know, there, there's literally no cap on that. Okay. So now I want to go into time and what that looks like and what should, what you should be expecting. Again, if you're following the video so far and you're enjoying this content, please, uh, uh, uh smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments. That's really important. Let us know in the comments, what other topics you'd like to see from this channel. And also what questions you have about this topic and what I'm talking about, be sure to drop them below. We look at all of your questions, even if we may not answer them, but we will try to answer them in material and in videos uh, in the future. Uh, so time, you know, what, sh what should you be expecting? Look, people ask me all the time, what is the minimum amount of time I could put in to make this much? What's the minimum? I'm like, man, you're asking the wrong questions. It's like, look, if you've got a job right now, and, and I want to say decent, you know, decent, um, a decent uh, chunk of you guys probably have your own job um, and you're putting in 40, 50 hours to build someone else's dream or to build someone else's business. How many hours are you willing to put in to invest in your own dreams, invest in your own business, right? For me, when I was building my own business, it was every waking hour, right? I had a job. I had multiple jobs. At some point, I even had three jobs, right? But Every waking hour that I was awake in between, between this, between that, you know, I was doing Uber and I had a laptop where I would shove between, you know, in between the, the, the car seat, right? And every time I was in between calls or whatever, I would pull it up, I would put my hotspot and then I would go, right? So for you, it's like, well, how bad do you want it? That's the question they should be really uh, uh, asking yourself is how bad do I really want it? Not how many hours do I need to invest? Because if you ask yourself, how bad do I really want it? And if the answer is, I want it really bad, then it should be every waking hour and it shouldn't even be a question, right? It should be like, whatever it takes. But just for the sake of this video, minimum is 10 to, 10 to 15 hours. If you're not even going to invest 10 to 15 hours per week, I mean, if you take 10 hours, <clears throat> divide that by seven days a week, you know, that's, uh, what is it, like an hour, hour and a half per day. If you take uh, 15 hours divided by seven days a week, that's like two hours a day. I don't care how busy you are. I don't care who you are. I used to do 120 hours a week. There is 168 hour, 168 hours every single week, right? There's no way in hell that you can tell me that you can't put in a minimum of 10 to 15 hours per week. If you work a, a 40 hour job, even if you work a 50 hour job and you sleep eight hours per day, what is eight times, what's eight times seven? Again, really terrible at math, but I think it's like 70 or 80 or something like that. Plus 50, that's 120, 130. You still can put in and, you know, can get a full time job and put in 30, 40 hours every single week. Out of that 30, 40 hours every single week, if you can't put in 10 to 15 hours to build your own business, We've got an issue here, but again, this is the minimum amount of hours you should be expecting. Um, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's less. The cool thing about selling on Amazon, unless you're going to keep scaling, which is what all of you guys should be doing. But if you're just going to launch one product and then just maintain that product, let's say you launch a product and it's making you, you know, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars per month on revenue is generating fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars of profit six to eight months later. And you're happy with that. And you're just sucking the, the product, the, the business dry. And you're like, well, this is just extra money for me. You know, I don't see you putting in more than 10 hours uh, um, a week maybe even less than that once the business is up and running in a few months. But when you first get started, you're going to need to learn the concept. 
You're going to need to research for products, which takes a long time. You're going to need to uh, talk to suppliers, which takes a decent time. Uh, and especially that they are, most of them are overseas, uh, you know, depending on where you live. Uh, you're going to need to create your listing, launch it, optimize your PPC, all that stuff. The business is pretty front loaded. So a lot of the work is going to be done in the front. But again, if you're working on scaling your business, our company is an eight figure company. I still work 10 hours a week because we want to keep scaling. We want to keep making sure that we are providing the best possible result for our students in the shortest time possible. So because we are always growing, we have to keep working, right? And that's never going to change because that's what makes me happy. That's what makes our team happy. That's what makes our students happy. So unless your goals are different, then it should be about 10, 15 hours. Otherwise expect to put in 20, 30, 40 hours or every single waking moment of your life until you make this happen. Outside of that, I really hope that you found this video valuable. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, drop your questions in the comments, and be sure to check out the link below this video where we'll show you exactly how we do what we do. And then if you qualify, you can get on a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our enrollment coaches where we figure out where you are, where you wanna go and see if our system works for you. Take it from there. Have yourselves a great day. Keep smashing. Take care.